Hey cyclocross folks and welcome to our preview video for the Midwest Cyclocross Regionals being held on December 17th at Angel Park in Sun Prairie, Wisconsin. We'd like to just start off by apologizing and saying that we definitely do not condone riding without a helmet so Lee apologizes for forgetting his helmet at home the day we recorded this and really not setting a good example for cyclocross riders. The start of the race will be an uphill start and we're going to sweep it out wide for a nice big wide open start. We feel that given the space we have this is definitely a good choice for the start of a cyclocross race so if you are stuck in the back or you have a rough start uh, it won't mean the end of your race and you'll have plenty of time to make up the ground. In the past uh, the USGP has started going all the way to that bank of trees you see on the left. We've identified three parts of the park that we'd really like to include on this course, and so we're going to try to take maximum advantage of each of the three of them. So this part uh, will still be fast, but it is uphill, so I imagine folks will be quite tired by the time they get to the top of this hill after the start and all the subsequent laps after that. Uh, but it'll kind of sweep back and forth, I imagine, a little bit more so than in our preview. Um, but it'll definitely be an uphill section that you'll be tired of riding by the end of the fourth or fifth lap. After going up, we'll go screaming down a little bit. This will be a tough turn, especially if the weather is not nice as you come off the path. This section coming up, there's a little bit of a mound, and this is a part that they used to use for the USGP. So it's a series of short little bursts up this hill, down this hill, and then another short little burst up. So that should be really the first section where it may bottleneck and you know especially if it's slick that's one thing to keep in mind with this design is that it may very well be snowy and muddy and icy when the race comes around here uh, we're going to work our way down this little hill i got lost a little bit fortunately lee knows the way to go and the end of our working our way downhill will be a section between two trees we're going to dive in here go down a couple tiers and then go right back up. So this will be one of those sections that if you are geared improperly, it will be very tough to get up there. So important to pre-ride and make sure that you have your gear changes uh, planned out, especially for a section like that. This is one of the more turny technical sections. Uh, again, we're working our way back up the hill. And admittedly, we were discussing one of our goals for this course is to really take advantage of the features that are available at the park to kind of create the technical features. So ideally, we won't necessarily have a lot of turns for turn's sake, um, but we really would like to do our best to take advantage of what is at the park, the hills. The next section that's coming up, the speedway, uh, here we'll be going past the pit. So this is where the pits will be located. And when we first came out to this park, we all agreed that we could not include the speedway on this course because there's just too many cool things going on over here. So this is kind of the entrance to what we're calling our rip and climb section. It's a little bit more, the uphills aren't exactly uh, rip and rideable, it's more rip and climbable. So as we'll see, Lee here is gonna dive down and head up this embankment towards the speedway spectator area, but you definitely gotta get out of the saddle a little bit, do a little bit of work. Conditions allow, we'd like to throw in a nice little off camber before we dive into the next rip section. And then this will peek out. The next section uh, we've already received some feedback on. We are, we like this section, uh, but given the concerns that were expressed, you can see here, we were thinking a section going between the bleachers here. Uh, but as you can imagine, if the conditions are not good, it could get a little dicey in there. Uh, but we do like this nice downhill. We'll leave it nice and open, and this would give plenty of opportunity for riders to pass one another, especially after the rip and climb section. It may be a little bit more difficult to do so. So now we're outside of that gate, and we've got this nice little embankment to work with. So it'll be a couple more rips and one more climb. Uh, up towards the fence at the side of the property here. So now coming up, there's these few mud, not mud, they're dirt sections. We're hoping that these will be infinitely more muddy and fun. Uh, if not, they'll just be a nice, this will be a faster, relaxing part of the course. Otherwise, there is a chance that this could get kind of muddy, a little bit tougher, a little bit more technical. 
And then the next section, perhaps the most fun, you get your chance to play race car, uh, specifically a midget race car, which is what they race here at Angel Park Speedway. Don't worry, uh, this dismount will not be here. There just happened to be a, a cable that you can barely see. Um, given that we are not good enough to, to bunny hop the cables, we decided to dismount and go. So this will be your chance to play a race car. So if you want to get make brat noises when you go through here, it would be totally appropriate to do all kinds of brapping. Uh, the ground here is kind of got a clayey consistency to it. Uh, so if it is a mess on the day of the race, we may actually use the infield. But hopefully we'll be able to have a nice muddy, tough section here. A little bit of a jump that Lee didn't really take. A little disappointed in him, uh, given that our general team mantra is that you should get rad when you get a chance. But, you know, he forgot his helmet, so maybe he was feeling a little nervous about it. Uh, coming up will be one of the run-up sections up a set of stone stone stairs we've heard from past races uh, that especially if it's slick and wet that these asphalt dismounts can be difficult so we'll do any number of a few things one would be to have the dismount be on the grass section another would be to put salt down to melt the ice and a third may be to put some cattle matting down to make sure that that dismount is as safe as possible we'll also be heading through a taller section of the bleachers we had Noted tall person and beard haver, local uh, Kale Doran was out here a couple weeks ago riding with us, and he indicated that for some of the tall folks like Greg Ferguson and Dave Eckel, may be difficult to squeeze under there. So we'll make sure to use the taller section to make sure that all of our taller riders don't have to do an excessive amount of ducking to get through there. Coming up on the third part, this is another part that was generally part of the old USGP courses. We're up on top of a hill and we are going to go down the hill. So this section will be a little bit of a bomb as we go towards the back section of the hill. Uh, we haven't really decided the amount of radness that we're going to add to this. Uh, obviously, there's an infinite number of possibilities that we can do here, but it'll definitely involve some combination of weaving towards the back section uh, near one of our premium parking lot areas. And then once we get here, it'll be all uphill from there literally as we work our way back up the hill this should be another good section to pass people it's a long bottom part of it is flat and then we'll make a hard right turn here and it'll turn into a false flat uphill section so this will be a good chance that if you need to pass or if you want to make a move on someone a good chance to put on some power halfway up this section we're going to see lee here he's going to do a little dipsy do through a couple trees so we'll make sure to break it up so once your heart rate's up around 180 or whatever make you do a little thinking and controlling your bike and then we'll go towards one of the tougher little mini sections this is another climb that ends up getting very steep and we're going to kind of extend it not straight up the hill but along the side of the hill we think to add just a little bit more difficulty uh, to this section so we've got a couple drop-ins. This is the first of our drop-ins. It's another of the parking areas there. This climb isn't so bad. This is more a side hill climb. And then we will do another drop-in section. So now we're at the back corner where the, the famed hillside strangler of the USGP course is located. We're thinking probably a run-up for the first half of it. So in the past, it had logs. Uh, it was rideable if you were very good. We're thinking we may put barriers down there to make this a halfway run up, and then you'll be given the opportunity to remount halfway up if you would like, and then ride out the rest of the hill as we kind of curve back around. So this section should all be, admittedly, is going to be kind of difficult. This relatively steep hill, and it's kind of long. We're definitely going to make riders climb it. You know, it looks like almost two times we have that first section, and then that one. So now we're getting towards the latter portion of the lap. We have one more off-camber section that we couldn't help but think that maybe we should make it part of the course. It's riding a little tight right now, so maybe we'll extend it out a little bit, but it's going to be a tight off-camber corner. And then one more brief explosive burst of power uh, up to the top of it before we head towards our last feature. 
which is over on the left you can see there we're going to go ahead and call it the barrier barn until someone comes up with a better name for it and this is right before the end uh, this section the high line is going to be the good line we're going to stake it such that this will be the good line you're going to drop into the barn maybe folks will be hanging out there it might be a good place to stay a little warm there's going to be a couple sets of barriers here you can watch lee I mean, look at those look at those barrier skills that he has developed, and he's going to hop back on his bike. And we think this will be an interesting feature because you're putting the barriers right before the finishing sprint. So there's definitely going to be a reward for getting through those barriers quickest and getting to this last corner. And from here on out, it's just a sprint. So we're going to head off of the pavement, and it's going to head back onto the start finish straight for a short little burst up the hill. You'll be plenty tired. Look at least celebrate. B-plus quality for sure on that. And that is our course.